Alan, tell me the story of Till. Yeah, I'm Till is a to me Till is a story that uh, I'm surprised hasn't been made before. I've seen shorts of it, but it's the story of uh, of Emmett Till and his mother Mamie, mostly Mamie. But uh, Emmett Till was uh, growing up in Chicago. His mother moved him out there to get him away from the South, uh, raised him to be a a a, 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 a confident uh, young man. Let's put it that way. Uh, he has an opportunity to visit his cousins in Mississippi, um, and she's afraid to of this decision, but she allows him to do it. So she's constantly warning him, you know, about how you talk to white people in the South, how you uh, how you react to them. If they get angry with you, you get on your knee and you apologize. Um, and so she's trying to prep him for this trip. He goes to Mississippi. Uh, he's hanging out with his cousins. They go into a, uh, a convenience store. And uh, he talks to uh, the uh, the cashier at that point, played by Haley Bennett. And um, he remarks about how pretty she is, how she looks like a movie star. And then um, when he walks out and she follows him, he kind of cat calls her. And uh, that sets off a chain of events where she is upset. She she goes to the car, gets a gun, try, uh, tries to shoot them. And then two days later, uh, some men show up at uh, his uncle's house and they're looking for him. They grab him, uh, take him out to uh, a barn and basically beat him to death and murder him. Uh, that's that's act one of the movie. The, the rest of the movie now is his mother, Mamie, uh, who is who basically wants justice for her son because she knows she can't get it in an all white Mississippi. And so the first thing she does is um, she gets the bloated, beaten body of her son, uh, has an open casket, uh, takes pictures of it, uh, posts it, and she, and this case now becomes a national, becomes the basically a, the first national crime where or national trial, where the guys who did it are now on trial, and uh, they have, and everyone in the world knows, or everyone in the United States knows that that this trial is going on, and now they. And now they're exposing basically uh, how tough it is to, for black people to get justice in the South. And then it play, the, the rest of the film plays out through the trial and then the, uh, and the slight aftermath of that trial. Yeah, it's um, it really focuses on uh, Mamie, Mamie, right? Is mm -hmm. the, yeah. Mamie Till, uh, the mother, is, is the story is her point of view, effectively, because some of the events you don't see. You just have to assume, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a good way of putting it? Yeah. I mean, they're certainly, uh, they're, they're filling in gaps. Definitely filling in gaps. Right, right. And uh, it's, it's. I mean, this is a horrific, true story. And the this is going to land. Um, Danielle Deadweiler, who plays uh, Mamie Till, she is going to be nominated for Best Actress. I really think it comes down to Kate Blanchett and her as the two standout performances. Um, she is remarkable. And actually, uh, Danielle Deadweiler did one of our watch parties, our film threat watch parties. There's a, a movie that she made years ago, a Southern Gothic uh, called The Devil to Pay. Yeah. She's the lead actress in the movie. We did a watch party for The Devil to Pay. And I also interviewed the filmmakers as well. So look for that. So she was on, she was on one of our watch parties. Now she's in this role catapulting to success. Congratulations to her. Um, this, The way that this was filmed also, I feel like there were very conscious choices to not be overt about, about certain events. And the other thing is that's interesting is that you see from her point of view, when she gets her son's body, which comes from Missouri, on that train, she's like, the smell that you smell is my son's body. Right. There are photographers there. She used, in effect, not necessarily social media, but she used media to expose this. It was very important to here are the pictures. Here's his body, open casket. Here is the result of this photos of her. Right. Like um, and I, I, I don't know. I just I thought it could have been handled in a way that was more exploitative. Right. By showing the violence. They don't really show it. And the accusations, you know, originally the cashier, um, she made accusations of rape that never happened. He whistled at her is is basically what led to led to Emmett's downfall and led to him 
being attacked. I, I, I think this is great. If you're looking for one of those, like, yes, this is an Oscar movie, right? It's definitely um, a, a parts of it hard to watch drama in the sense that the events are so horrifying. And Danielle, she does this one speech in the courtroom where she's just talking for, um, I don't know, it was like, it seemed like three, four minutes. That is just so powerful and incredible. I'm like, that's the minute. I'm watching this going like, she's she's getting the nomination. She may, in fact, win. Because I think when it comes to um, this film and Tar, Till versus Tar, so to speak, you know, Tar is an unlikable character, right? That is uh, unrepentant. Uh, you haven't seen Tar yet, right? No, I'm hoping to this weekend. Yeah, it's opening wide this weekend. I may go see it again. Um, but Till is a very sympathetic story. And uh, I don't know. I just thought it was riveting. Mm -hmm. and, and it's amazing. You're right. You pointed out this has never been put made into a film. And I'm surprised because I knew the story of Emmett Till. Like this yeah. tragic. And the, the, the I don't know. I mean, look, the facts are out there. But you'll find out at the end. Like, it's shocking how this all turned out. So, like, the first half is the tra sort of, like, leading to the tragic events, the tragic events. The last half is the trial and the sort of... And it's it's, it's also a trial that was kind of played out in, in front of the, you know, as a national news story yeah. in front of the American public. So... Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, that's... I think that's the big point of the movie is that the, the, the length she went to to have to do this because she knew she he wasn't going to get... or. He, she knew that they weren't going to prosecute this fairly. And so she right. had to bring national attention to it. And that's that's a lot of what this story is about. I also will say that, uh, you know, one, one moment that stuck out to me was when the NAACP came in and, and basically the, they said, okay, we're going to help you find justice. And then the guy basically alludes to, but we kind of need something in return, you know, that, that you know, they kind of, you know, you get the sense that they want to use his death, Emmett Till's death, to uh, to push some uh, to get some political clout for the uh, the NAACP, and she's just kind of still sitting there going, "Just bring my son home, basically." Yeah, yeah, it's 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 um, I, I don't know. It's one of those things where when I saw the movie, first of all, I was like reluctant to see it because um, I had heard mixed from a friend of mine uh, whose opinions I can take or leave sometimes. And uh, it was much better than I expected it to be. It's also a good break from, I can only handle so much horror and over the top superhero stuff. Like it's nice to get like, this is, you know, uh, you know, based on horrific, tragic events that, that changed America. And I, and as you pointed out, surprised, this was never made into a mm -hmm. major feature film. Mm -hmm.